Welcome to Be in Americas. In this video, you'll learn about the basic features to best take advantage of the tools included in your subscription. You can fast forward the video to the tutorial of your interest. Let's begin. Sections of the platform. On the left-hand side of the platform, you'll find the main menu with all of the sections listed. The first thing you'll see will be the dashboard, which is the home page where we find ourselves right now. Later on, this is where we will consolidate all of the information that is available in our subscription. Below the dashboard, we have news, projects, companies, reports, data sets, and people, among other sections. Last, you'll find an orange bubble, which is a chat function to contact our executives if you have a question or need help. In the upper part of the screen, you'll find the search bar, which works similar to the search engine that you use to find information on the internet. On the right, you will find utilities such as notifications, language preference, settings, including settings for the newsletter, and alerts, notifications, as well as password changes, and you'll find the help button with our tutorial articles and videos. How to create a dashboard. The dashboard will be your home page where you will be able to personalize the content that you would like to see on the screen. In the dashboard section, click on the Add Dashboard button located on the left sidebar. In this case, we will click on the blank option. Let's change the name of this dashboard. Just click on the title, write in the name we'd like to use and press enter or click outside the box. To personalize the dashboard, we're going to add widgets with content of our preference. Widgets are interactive tools that aim to facilitate access to information and help you better monitor the market. To do so, click on the Add Widget button and then choose the option Editor's Picks. And there is our widget. Now we can personalize what we see inside. How to personalize a widget. When we place our mouse above the widget, several buttons of varying colors will appear on the lower left-hand side. Let's click on the blue button with the cog to go to the widget configuration. A small window will open where you will be able to change the name of the widget and include it or exclude it from the newsletter. The widget we are creating includes a predetermined filter for Editor's Picks articles. Let's add an additional filter. Click on the Add Filter button and, in this example, we will select the Sector option. Then let's choose the Electric Power Sector and click on the Apply button. Then press Save. We will automatically be able to see all of the Editor's Picks articles from the Electric Power Sector. Now we can continue adding other widgets, like News, for example, and add filters using the Topic option, where you can select sub-industries, investment and financing topics, tenders, topics about projects, regulations, among others. If we like, we can also create more widgets for reports, projects, companies, people, datasets, and more. Remember that you can always filter the information for the widgets using the configuration menu provided in each one. This way, you can segment more specific information that caters to your commercial objectives. You can order and change the size of your widgets. Now that you know how to create and configure your widgets, try it yourself. Other ways to create widgets. We can create widgets from any product or tool included in our subscription. For example, let's create a widget from the projects section located on the main menu on the left. The projects that you see have a capex greater than $50 million. To show projects with a smaller capex, we'll click on the Basic Profiles Excluded option and turn on the switch. You will see that the number of projects increases considerably. 
Now, let's prepare the filters to create a new widget for our dashboard. Let's click on the Add Filter button and select the Project Stage option. We will select the Early Works box so that all of the boxes in this category are marked. Then press Apply. Let's add a few more filters. For example, I may be interested in filtering by project type, oil and gas, and upstream then press Apply. Then I'll add the Project Status filter where I'll select the Active option to exclude those projects that are cancelled or suspended. Then press Apply. Now we have all of the filters that interest us to create a widget for our dashboard. I'll click on the Save Filters button located on the upper right hand corner and then click on the Add to Dashboard button. We will then select the dashboard that we created just a few minutes ago. The platform will redirect us to the dashboard we just selected. Once the dashboard has loaded, we will find our new widget below. If we like, we can drag it to any position we prefer. Let's add another widget for companies to our dashboard. Now we'll go to the widget configuration menu, change the name, and activate the basic profiles. Now we'll filter by company type, select owner operator, and press apply, then save. As you can see, regardless of the type of content, widgets can be configured the same way using the filters to segment the information that they show. This information will be updated periodically in your dashboard. You can also have these updates sent directly to your inbox. Let's see how. Configuring a newsletter. Click on the Settings button at the top right hand corner of the platform. Once the Settings menu has loaded, we will go to the Email Settings option located on the left hand menu in gray. Now, using the drop down bar, we will select the dashboard that we'd like to receive in our newsletter. We can also select the time we'd like to receive. And before we forget, we need to select our time zone. You can create up to eight newsletters to receive at different times of the day using the Add a Newsletter button. Click on the Save Changes button. You can activate or deactivate other types of emails, such as the Daily Commodities Newsletter, which provides information from the London Metal Exchange. You can also choose to receive our Morning Briefing, a newsletter including a daily selection of articles selected by our editors. Additionally, if you follow a project, company, or people profile, or any other content, you can receive daily alerts or a weekly report with the latest changes. Lastly, you can activate or deactivate web notifications within the platform. In this video, we reviewed the basic functions that will help you configure and create dashboards filter content, and configure your newsletters. Now you are ready to take full advantage of the potential of BN Americas. I invite you to continue exploring new options with what you've just learned. Until next time.